Welcome to Academic Advising. I'm Shayla Washington, one of the more than 28,000 students who call UNLV home. Like all other students, my life is busy with classes, homework, papers, work, and social functions. I need all the help I can get managing my academic success, and I find that help in Academic Advising. My academic advisor is my advocate on campus and is by my side from application to graduation. And yours will be too. Advisors help you clarify and then pursue your educational goals by providing accurate and timely information and by encouraging you to take responsibility for your academic success. They keep you informed of current and changing rules and requirements in your major. They help you find the campus services you need, let you know about opportunities that can enhance your studies, and of course, help you plan the classes you need to take to graduate on time. As a student who's in journalism and in the Honors College, I have two different advisors, and having them balance together, really, essentially, they make my class list for me. As much as new students like to try to, you know, hack it out on their own, the advisors know what they're talking about, and I think that it's important that the students develop a good relationship with their advisors early on. Because if early on you develop a I don't want to deal with my advisor attitude, it's not a good thing to do because the advisors have been there and they know what they're talking about. Of course, you play an important role as well. Ultimately, you are responsible for your academic progress, so it's important that you schedule and keep your academic advising appointments, consult your undergraduate catalog, department degree sheets, university websites, and academic calendars. Maintain a file of the materials your advisor provides you and most importantly, communicate openly and honestly with your advisor about any issues that may affect your educational performance and goals. As of fall 2009, all students are required to meet with an academic advisor for their college. UNLV has 11 academic advising centers and each center has the particular admission policies and standards and degree requirements for its college. If you're interested in earning a degree in journalism and media studies, social work, environmental studies, criminal justice, public administration, communication studies, or a minor in family studies, then you'll need to visit the Advising Center in Greenspun Hall. Located on the corner of Maryland Parkway and University Avenue, Greenspun Hall is home to the College of Urban Affairs. We have a terrific staff within the Greenspun College of Urban Affairs Student Advising Center. Our first advisor, Adrian Casterhone, is actually an alumni of this college and the university. He has a Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice, and several years ago he completed his Master's of Arts in Criminal Justice from UNLV as well. Next we have Ebony Aguilake. Ebony came to us from Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. She has an undergraduate degree in sociology and a minor in communications. And lastly there's me. I have my undergraduate degree in psychology and sociology from Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, and I have my master's in educational leadership from right here at UNLV. When you come into our office, the front desk, desk is actually the first stop that you'll make. You'll be greeted by our office manager, Gloria Cooper, and a student worker. Today we have with us Terry Prince. Students come into our office for a variety of reasons, but the main reason is to schedule an appointment to meet with an advisor. Appointments are generally scheduled for a week out from the day of request, so it's really important that you give yourself enough time to make an appointment to get your questions answered. The Urban Affairs Advising Center counsels students in seven academic programs. The Department of Communication Studies, where students can focus in one of two areas, interpersonal communication or public communication. The School of Journalism and Media Studies, which offers four concentrations, one in print journalism, one in broadcast journalism, one in media studies, and one in integrated marketing communication, a combination of public relations and advertising. The Department of Environmental Studies, where students choose between a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Arts degree, both of which require a senior thesis. The Criminal Justice Department, where students take classes in three content areas, Law and Society, Criminal Justice Organization and Administration, and Nature of Crime. The Department of Marriage and Family Therapy, which offers a minor in Family Studies. The School of Social Work, where students complete a two-semester senior practicum in the Las Vegas area. And Public Administration, where students can earn a degree entirely online. What I like most about working in the College of Urban Affairs is our student populations. You'll notice because of our seven vastly different academic disciplines, it attracts a wide cadre of students with a lot of different personalities and energies. 
but they all share something in common, and that is their commitment to the Las Vegas community and their commitment to helping others. Take advantage of the resource room. Here you can register for classes, pick up forms and catalogs, or find information about your degree program. Freshman students in urban affairs are encouraged to participate in one of five learning communities offered by the college. Each learning community is designed around a specific topic, allowing you to immediately study subject matter in your area of interest while completing core requirements needed for graduation. The learning community program provides three essential benefits for incoming freshmen. The first of which is studies show you graduate with a higher GPA. Second is that you will graduate within four, within four to five years, so you will be graduating on time. Third is you have a greater connection to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, the Las Vegas community, and Nevada. Your academic advisor can tell you more about the learning communities, so be sure to ask. Urban Affairs Advising offers extended hours to accommodate the busy schedules of non-traditional students. Office hours are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Thursday, and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. Once you've met with your advisor and selected your classes, you'll find that registration is quick and easy. UNLV uses online registration. Simply click on the link on the UNLV homepage. From there, you can view your class schedule, register, check your financial aid status, and pay tuition or fees. Be sure to talk to your advisor about placement in your first math or English course. Placement is determined by your ACT or SAT score. If you have not taken the exams, or if you are looking to increase your test score, ACT residual exams are offered throughout the year. When you're admitted to UNLV, you receive a RebelMail account. You can activate your account and log in from the UNLV webpage. You'll find that it's the best way to stay current on campus events and college deadlines. Before coming to campus, remember that parking permits are required for all motor vehicles. If you're not interested in commuting to campus every day, consider campus housing. UNLV offers living environments tailored to meet students' needs, including diversity living and learning communities, and special floors for some majors. Now let's take a quick tour of important buildings on campus. We'll start here at the Student Union. It's a great place to meet up with friends, grab something to eat, study in the lounge, or work on an assignment in the computer lab. Adjacent to the Student Union is the UNLV Bookstore. Here you can find all of your campus supplies, textbooks, and Rebel apparel. All students should be familiar with the Student Services Complex. Several key student services are centralized in this complex of buildings. In Building A you will find the Registrar, Financial Aid and Scholarships, Cashiering, the Disability Resource Center, Career Services, the International and Scholars Program, and the Women's Center. Building B is home to the Office of Admissions and Recruitment, and in Building C, you will find the Enrollment Services Center. Across from the Student Services Complex, you'll find the Academic Success Center, which offers academic guidance to first year and transfer students. The Student Recreation and Wellness Center is a place where students can focus on having fun and being healthy. The center features weight and fitness rooms, athletic courts, three pools, an indoor track, juice bar, and social lounge. The center also houses the Student Health Center, Student Counseling and Psychological Services, and Campus Recreation. The last building on our tour is Lead Library. It's the largest building on campus and it's the perfect place to study. Lead Library has 2,500 study spaces, over 300 computer workstations, and a wonderful staff that can help you with all of your research questions. Thanks for joining me today. Academic Advising is here to support you, so please take advantage of all we have to offer.